here in this room. Uh, I'm Parit Yasuvanathachot from Jalalukon University. Uh, I'm really delighted to be a chairperson in this session and I'm so pleased to be with you as an audience and also we like you to, you know, uh, to listen for the innovative things here. We got, we got four titles and innovation, really innovation, innovative. Um, this session has um, innovate four, four innovative innovations, all four titles from an invited innovative speakers. And especially the last one, I should tell the Thai, Thai uh, audience first. The last, the last, the last one we will we will speak in Thai. Okay. So for the first one, let me introduce um, Mr. Ji Li for her title as an Asian Cyber University Project, Past and Future. <coughs> and the second one uh, for Professor Yoshida Masumi. Uh, his title is uh, Innovative Teaching of School in School in Japan. And then we have a short break, and I will come back with uh, the third one, uh, Mr. Kibara Maso. Uh -huh. And then with Thai team, yeah. Now join me. Welcome, uh, Miss Tuji Lee. Thank you. Thank you for introducing me, Professor. Um, it's my great pleasure to be here to introduce ACU project known as ASEAN Cyber University Project. Have you heard of any? Uh, have you heard of ACU or ASEAN Cyber University Project before? Is there anyone? Oh, great! <laughs> Thank you. For those you. Those of you who already knew ACU project, it would be a little bit like boring at the first part of the presentation, but for those of you who have not heard of it before, it will be a really informative. I know there are a lot of workshops and informative sessions parallel to this one, but because you attend this session, I'd like to have you, I, I'd like to share you with my experience and my knowledge about ACU project. Um, before jumping into the subject, let me briefly introduce myself. Even though she, <laughs> professor, introduced me, I am Suji Lee. You can call me just Suji. I'm Deputy Director General of ACU Secretariat. I would like to thank TCU and Ministry of Th Education in Thailand to give me this memorable opportunity to meet the enthusiastic experts of e-learning and OER. Um, for my 40 minutes presentation, it will cover the backgrounds, how ACU project started, what is it about, what's the focus area of the project, and our future plan later. <clears throat> and then we, are, we talk about a little bit of ACU OER. Well, um, if you attend this conference from yesterday, we all heard of OER, Open Education, the importance of MOOC. Why is it, import why is it important? Because MOOC or OER, or open education. It gives you an opportunity to grow your talent. It, opened, it opens you to be a more educated by yourself. So that's one of the reasons that ACU projects also implement ACU OER at the end. So I'll talk about it later. Before. 
So why he's working, and I'm going to just briefly mention the background. Is it working now? Yes, at ACU project, we try to expand the higher education opportunity in ASEAN nations and strengthen the relationship between ASEAN nations and Republic of Korea universities. In ACU, we also operate and offer OER, open education, educational resources, and e-learning courses through LMS, based on each member university's academic calendar. So the background, how does it start? How did it start? In year 2009, there was ASEAN and Republic of Korea commemorative summit. At that point, Dr. Surin Pichuan, a secretary general of ASEAN, he initiated the idea that can we just establish, can we establish a cyber university for ASEAN whole nation. That's um, that's the idea that start that's the idea that started our project actually. So in November 2009, at fourth ASEAN senior officials meeting on education, we so called it we so call it SOMET. Korea proposed for establishing ASEAN Cyber University as Dr. Surin Pichuan initiated. And there were unanimous, unanimous agreement of participation from all 10 ASEAN member states to cooperate to establish ASEAN Cyber University. So, um, and year 2010, even before the actual project began, ASEAN states, all member states of ASEAN and Republic of Korea, all, uh, they all thought that because the level of environment, technical, infrastructure, cultural, economic, and everything are all different in all 10 nations. And especially for CLMV. You know what CLMV stands for? Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam. They are the ones who need a more development in infrastructure, technological effect, and so forth. So ASEAN nations agreed Korea's proposal for strengthening of CLMV e-learning capabilities first before establishing ASEAN Cyber University. So, in year 2011, a senior officials meeting, some at again, there had been an agreement of cooperation from ASEAN member states on the master plan of ACU is establishment. So year 2012, Ministry of Education in Korea, Ministry of Education in Korea, it, um, they accepted and they proposed a plan, a project to establish ASEAN Cyber University. And it was agreed upon by all nations of ASEAN. And year 2000, but the thing is that the project started in year 2012, it's a four year long project. But the thing is that while going on the project, it seems to us, it seems to ASEAN nations and Republic of Korea that it's maybe a little too far. At this point, at that point, it may be a little too far to talk about ASEAN Cyber University because some of the nations in ASEAN, some of the nations in ASEAN, they still need to grow. They still need to 
developed the infrastructure for the network, hardware, and so forth. So there had been several studies during year 2012 and year 2013 that are we going to talk about ASEAN Cyber Uni University or are we, um, do we have to change or what type of ASEAN, ASEAN Cyber University we need to build? Is it going to be a one ASEAN University for whole ASEAN nations? Or is it going to be a one that is established in one of the ASEAN country? Then it, th then it, can, be, uh, it can be shared to all ASEAN nations. We, don't, we didn't know yet and which one will be the perfect for all whole ASEAN nations. So, in year 2013, at the end, ASEAN nations and Republic of Korea, they all get together again, and then they agreed upon that it's a time to postpone our final decision whether to establish ASEAN Cyber University or not until the year 2012, well, not 2020. <laughs> Sorry, 2020. So the project, the purpose of the project, ASEAN Cyber University project, has been a little bit detour to get to ASEAN Cyber University establishment. So from that point, year 2014, the purpose, the purpose of the project is to grow, is to support more capabilities or e-learning capabilities of CLMV nations first. And year 2015, the last year of the first phase of first phase of ASEAN Cyber University. In that year, there had been a preliminary res pre preliminary research whether are there any need for OER or is it a time that we could talk about OER at ACU or at ASEAN nations. But the thing is that, well, people from ASEAN, the researchers from ASEAN nations, they all agreed upon, even though the establishment of ASEAN Cyber University has been postponed, we need to talk about OER. So in year 2016, at the end, in December, there had been a pilot stage of OER system, ACU OER launched. But um, year 2015 was the end of first phase of ASEAN Cyber University project. And from year 2016, there, uh, it started another four year project, the second phase of ASEAN Cyber University and for the second phase, CADIS, Korea Education and Research Information Service, where I come from. CADIS has been designated by ASEAN, uh, ACU Secretariat from year 2016. So um, are you all familiar with CADIS? Have you heard of CADIS? Oh yes, thank you. CARIS, is, CARIS stands for Korea Education and Research Information Service. It's a non-profit organization under the Ministry of Education in Korea. It is located in Daegu, southern part of Korea. Well, we used to be in Seoul, the capital city of Korea, but a couple of years ago, we just moved, to, <laughs> moved down to the southern part. Our mission is to contribute to contribute to advancement of national education competitiveness through the promotion of ICT use in all educational sector. CARES has been established by a legal by a law such as uh, Korea Education and Research Information Service Service Act. 
it's, it has been established in 1999, and CARES has four major areas of focus. The first one is operate and run e-learning system, sharing content for primary and the secondary education. The second focus area is about higher education. It, CARES runs research information sharing service, which we call it RIS. It's a gateway to the comprehensive Korean research outcomes, including dissertations, journal articles, all the books, um, any e-articles, and e-databases. And it's all free, free of use. And the CARES runs, CARES organize and run for this service for higher education, as well as all, as well as CARES run KOCW, Korea Open Courseware. It has more than like 170 universities as a member, and it provides more than 10,000 courses so far. KOCW started in year 2007 at the end, at the end of year 2007, so it's almost like 10 years in the, not the market, but in, in this OER area. And all the courses are based, because it's open courseware, the course is based upon the semester long course. So if you want to listen, if you want to learn, or if you want to access one of the course, then you have to expect that you, if it's on a three credit course, how many hours that are you expecting? Exactly the same that you spend on your offline classroom in the university. And the third area of the focus is about e-administration for secondary, uh, for primary and the secondary education. In Korea, we have more than 11,000 schools for primary and secondary education. And every school, its requirement is compulsory. They have to use e-administration system to, uh, to record their enrollment and how many teachers, how many classes, and what's the financials, air, financial information, such financial information, and so forth. And the final area is about international cooperation, just like ACU project. In Keris, we have about 200 employees, um, and we have seven divisions and more than 25 sections. So let's, about, let's talk about ACU project. Again, let's get back to our topic again. The vision. Vision of ACU project is support its um, pursue the accompanied growth between ASEAN nations and Republic of Korea. To pursue that vision, ACU project has four C strategies to achieve that goal. Four C means, you can see here, customization, connection, and content, and collaboration. For the customization at ACU project, we consult um, institution-specific way of, way of um, developing the capacity. And for the connection, at ACU, uh, we are having a various contents connected to ACU OER from KUCW and all member universities. And for the content at ACU project, um, we financially support developing contents by member universities. And finally, the collaboration. At ACU project, we held 
uh, annual steering committee meeting with all member states, the Ministry of Education of all member states. And we have two um, working group meeting from all member universities. And we also have one international conference, which is going to be open at the end of August this year. We invited all our member and all, all of the um, all of the expert who is interested, who has an interest in learning ACU, OER, and ACU projects. So so far, at first, when we first started ACU projects, the initial member to the states, uh, initial member to the projects, we started with five nations from ASEAN. Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Thailand. So we still have five nations, but last year we invited Malaysia and the Philippines. So we have seven member states from ASEAN. And each member state has, has to designate one member university belong to that nation, one or two. In Cambodia, they, in Cambodia, Cambodia designated two universities for their members, ITC and NIPTIC. In Laos, National University of Laos is a member university. In Myanmar, we have University of Technology and University of Information and Technology, all two universities as a member, member universities. And in Vietnam, Hanoi University of Information and Tech, uh, Science and Technology. We call it HOST. HOST is our member university. In Thailand, we have Sripatam University as our partner. And from last year, we have um, Wawasan, university of, Wawasan Open University of Malaysia. And then we also had our um, member university is U, uh, University of Philippine Open University from last year. And in ASEAN University project, the ACU projects, actually we have three types of membership. The first one is the initial member from five nations. So ITC and NIPTIC from Cambodia, New, uh, National University of Laos from Laos, and UT and UIT from Myanmar, and HOST from Vietnam, and Sri Patum from Thailand. They are the member university. They are the ones that receive, that are receiving financial support from ASEAN Cyber University regarding developing their contents, um, utilizing LMS, and uh, participating in OER. And we have another membership. That's a cooperative university, which ASEAN Cyber University started last year when CARIS started our secretariat. We designate, in CARIS, we designate four university consortium of Korea, which will, uh, will concert individual member states and individual university for in-depth consulting for their content development, their e-learning course operation, and etc. Before CARIS has been designated as Secretariat, the ASEAN Uni Cyber University Secretariat covers everything for every member universities. But it's like beyond our capability or beyond our, um, yes, it's, it's much more than we are expecting. And if we think that if we can designate it, more experienced universities to help individual member universities, it will be more beneficial and it will be more impressive, it will be more effective to build member universities' e-learning capabilities. 
That's why we designated four consortium, um, consortium to help to assist these member universities. And the finally, the third membership is about the participating universities. Participating universities are the ones, any universities in ASEAN nations who would like to share their contents and their knowledge through ACU OER. So any university who could contribute their contents, who could utilize ACU OER, that can be a participating university. And Wawasan, Univer Wawasan Open University and um, University of Philippines Open University, they are the participating universities from last year. So, what's the current state of ACU project now? In ACU projects, we focus on four areas to build e-learning capabilities of CLMB nations. The first part is CLMB e-learning capacity building. The second one is CLMB development and implement implementation of commonly shareable content. And the third one is establishing and managing ACU OER and ACU LMS. And the finally, the fourth area is enhancement of Korea and ASEAN nations cooperation. At the first area that we focus, we are uh, providing three types of um, support. The first one is expert training, pro expert training program for member university, uh, our member universities. So this year in May, there had been uh, four experts from each member universities. They were invited to come to Korea to get some training on e-learning basics from Keris. And also, they, are, they were invited to experience how to build and how to develop contents by this, uh, their cooperative partnership. The expert training, training program, uh, ex, uh, expert training program is about two weeks, two weeks program. And the other part is support e-learning center. So ACU project, we financially support their running, uh, their management of e-learning center at the member universities. Now finally, as I talked to you about, as I told you before, we at um, ACU Secretariat designated cooper Cooperative University Consortium to help to assist member universities e-learning, uh, to build e-learning capacity. These are the pictures of expert e-learning training program. And for e-learning center management, because we have six member states, um, we are financially support their e-learning forum, seminar, workshop, and their competency development training. Especially some of the universities, some of our member universities, they are planning to be a mentor. Mentor university for other nearby universities. So they invited um, nearby university experts, professionals to help their, to help create and develop contents or managing their uh, e-learning center. Finally, um, with this cooperative university, uh, ACU project, the ACU secretariat can implement, uh, can conduct a customizing, customized consulting and on-site training. So each of these cooperative consortium, they, um, they, uh, they went to, they go to member universities at least four times a year 
for the consulting of their content development and their uh, training program and their e-learning course operation. Over the second part, to development and implementation of commonly shareable contents. At ACU projects, as I told you before, we are financially support member universities developing contents. But in addition to that, in ACU project, we also support commonly shareable contents for whole ASEAN nations. For example, in year 2016, there had been a content which is about ASEAN studies. ASEAN studies is for the whole ASEAN nations. And this year, through ASEAN University Network, we call it AUN, AUN is developing human rights content. So it's kind of um, really, um, it's kind of important, but um, important, but um, it's sensitive, actually, for all these five, uh, all these um, ASEAN nations. But it it needed. We need to develop and we need to implement that contents. And then uh, here we also support e-learning, credit and non-credit courses operation. At this point, what I would like to focus on is that we discussed a lot how video lecture can contribute to um, learners' attention and why OER and why MOOC, why open course is really important. But for these CLMB countries, it's their requirement. So how long the video lectures are, it doesn't matter. If they register, they finish it 100%. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the, that, will, that will last. How long that will last? But so far, it's true, yes, 100% um, completion. So these are the contents developed by individual member universities. This year, uh, ACU project financially support 20 content developments. For, so um, each, nations, each nation have developed five contents. Um, I'm going to share this uh, presentation file with you. So if you want to see, if you want to look at more detail, like a title of the content and who developed, then you can consult this file later. At the third project, ACU OEL and ACU LMS. Um, ACU LMS has been uh, developed by the end of year 2014. It was the first phase of ASEAN Cyber University project. It's been used for whole, in the, uh, whole member universities. And all these systems are running on cloud service. This is the home page of ACU LMS, but when the ACU LMS first established it, the home page is all loaded with heavily, heavily, um, heavy images. So we um, we rebranded the home page with most of the most of it as a text base. So anyone who has a lower connection of the internet, they can easily access and they can easily see the contents. So this is the way that uh, ACU LMS is working. When you uh, click on the My Lecture, it gives you the series of, series of lecture. And then when you click on Play, you will see like a video clips or video contents, for example, like this. At the fourth, the final area of the focus in ACU project is enhancement of Korea ASEAN cooperative system. That means that, as I told you before, we are running um, annual meeting for a steering committee, and we are running two working group meeting, and then we are having one international conference 
for all member unit, all members. So uh, this is the one that we had for the international conference last year, and we are going to have it the same. Um, if we are going to have it by the end of August this year, as you can see here. And these are the pictures. And if you are familiar with him, he often comes and used to give us a lecture or share his knowledge and experience all together with us. These are the um, research productions that ACU project conducted before. What's the biggest difference between phase one of the project and phase two? The purpose has been a little bit changed, as I told you before, from establishing an ASEAN Cyber University to build upon CLMV e-learning capabilities. So the purpose has been changed a little bit. And then from area number one, Keris, as an ASEAN ACU Secretariat, we designated four consortium of cooperative universities to assist, to help our member universities. That's the biggest di difference. And in the second area, about developing a content. At the second phase, we are running Quality Assurance Council for developing um, for developing content. At the third area, where ACU LMS is running, at phase two, we're also running an ACU OER. And the fourth level, we are doing the same. So the further projects. As I mentioned before, establishment of ASEAN Cyber University, the final decision has been postponed to year 2020. So this year, we are going to start a feasibility study whether all of 10 ASEAN nations are ready to experience and ready to establish ASEAN Cyber University. So we just started the research and we just started to develop a survey question to all 10 ASEAN nations. And next year, based on the survey result of this year, we are going to uh, find out what type, what kind of uh, cyber university is more appropriate for all 10 ASEAN nations. And at the end, the year 2020, at SOMED, they will, um, uh, uh, they, uh, ASEAN Secretariat and Republic of Korea will decide what type and when exactly the ASEAN Cyber University will be established. ACU OER, this is the way that ACU OER looks like, but it's a, uh, it's a pilot stage now. So we have uh, we just have a contents, the English contents from KOCW, but we didn't really have any kind of reusable, redistributable uh, user, uh, redistributable features that user can utilize. We are going to develop those features from this year till year 2019. So if this page. Any, anyone can access the page. So if you have any idea, such idea, suggestions, then I'm going to happy to listen. I'm going to happy to implement it. Well, my time is up. So let me just say that. This is the way that we are having a concept as an ASEAN Cyber University and ACU OER. Um, for the ACU OER, we are collecting and we are federating all the OER contents from ASEAN nations and other global initiatives of OER and MOOC services. And we are providing and we are offering that contents for ASEAN Cyber University. 
that's the, the concept that we are going to implement and we are going to um, we are going to develop so uh, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions uh, I'm really happy to hear so this I think my time's up um, but if you have any questions then I'm ready to answer thank you Any questions? Or if you have any suggestions, I'm really, really happy to hear of your opinions and suggestions. Please let us know with this email address. Thank you, and I'm going to hand my microphone to Professor.